Hello, I'm Paddy from creativemedia.org.uk and I'm going to review this Antari bubble machine. I'm about to give it away because I've not really been using it much. I've bought it for a, a project and I've used it for one or two other things. And it's going to go to a lending library, which are brilliant things. If you've got a local lending library, look one up and you may well get yourself a, a loan of something very cheaply rather than having to buy it and have it lying around. So, um, what can I tell you about this? It's very sturdily made. It's got this lifting handle here. This is the kind of thing you'd, you could mount it to a theatre gantry if you wanted bubbles on stage. Um, you can take it off. It's got these nice handle things here. So it feels like very professional. Everything's metal. Um, the downside of everything being metal is that it's just really hard to get this thing totally dry. And you can see there's, there's rust and and such like around on, on my particular one. It's painted with some kind of paint, but I think the fact that it's not just water, it's it's water with detergent in, makes it really hard to get it fully dried. So that's a bit of a downside. It's also a plus side, because this thing's survived for a long time, but there's yeah some quite rusty bits inside here. Inside, this, this is the vent where the bubbles come out, there's a whole bunch of bubble blowers, and in the back, is what looks very much like a, a computer fan actually inside you could probably re replace it with some kind of computer fan if it ever did fail and there's also a socket for the remote control unit which is this one this is an optional extra i think you can turn bubbles on and off with this um, in the same way you can with the power switch and you can also use the timer which you can set a duration and an interval just simply with these knobs brilliant it doesn't tell you how many seconds it is you just had to guess a bit with that but you can say you know I want long periods of bubbles every you know with, with short gaps or short periods of bubbles with long gaps etc or medium <laughs> medium lengths of bubbles with medium gaps that you know it's, it's all analog and you can do exactly what you want so that's really good it means you don't end up using all your bubble mixture in one massive long burst of bubbles so, where does the mixture go? Well, there's a mistake I kept making that I'd, I'd end up taking loads of screws out of this, but to open it, you just need to undo this screw. It's like a thumb screw on both sides. It's also got a slot. And something I notice is if you've left this for a while and it's slightly damp from all that detergent, you might find these are, these are stuck. But, you know, some kind of screwdriver thing, like a pen, pen knife, will do the job. And you don't need to take them right out, you just loosen it slightly. Same on the other side, loosen that one slightly. I've done this in advance, you can tell. And then this whole front lifts up. And again, if it's got a bit stuck, you might want to stick something in this gap here and just wriggle it apart. Then the whole top should just tip back. There we go. And inside you can see all the electronics and such like. And here is the thing which the bubbles go in, that is plastic, uh, nice and lightweight. I don't think it really matters which way around it goes, but this side seems a bit, one side seems a bit more sloping than the other, so I reckon the slope, the, the more sloping side should be at the front. And it's got a, a bracket there for where to sit, so that's quite easy. That slots in nicely. I can't tell for sure whether this is the, an original part or whether this has been added by somebody else, but it fits perfectly, so that's good. I thought it would be fun to unleash some bubbles into the sky of the city tonight as my last bit of fun with owning a bubble machine. So I'm going to put a bit in this bubble container here. Good thing with this tray is that it's very easy to um, tip it back into the bubble mixture um, bottle and rinse it out and clean it so you don't have to wash I mean you do have to wash a machine because it gets a lot of a lot of damp inside but this bit being removable is quite an advantage I'm not going to put in much just a little bit because it's a bit of a waste this really because <laughs> it's probably too dark for anyone to see the bubbles but hopefully it will freak somebody out a bit if they come across some bubbles on a December night walking around in the streets